House Speaker Kevin McCarthy telling Florida Governor Ron DeSantis to find a way to end his battle with Disney and that his threats against the company don't fly. I don't think the idea of building a prison next to a place that you bring your family is the best idea. <laughs> I think it would be much better if you sat down and solved the problems. Well, McCarthy's comments coming just one day after Disney sued DeSantis, accusing him of a clear pattern of retaliation after the company spoke out against Florida's ban on teaching young kids about sexual orientation and gender identity, and that DeSantis' actions are violating Disney's right to free speech. Out front now, Scott Jennings, who is the former special assistant to President George W. Bush, our legal analyst, Joey Jackson, and of course, our numbers expert I like extraordinary. I like that. You want me to say what it says? Our numbers whiz. There we go. Harry Enton. <laughs> All right, Scott, so you just heard Speaker McCarthy. Mm. This is a man who doesn't come out and say that without having decided he was going to say that. You know, it just didn't come off in a flip, not thought out way. Um, so do you think DeSantis has gone too far here? Well, I think, wait, McCarthy also said he had advice for Disney, which is maybe don't be so political, but uh, so he had advice for both sides. I think part of the DeSantis brand is I'm going to fight wokeism in our culture, wherever it is, especially in these corporations, and I will not be distracted. I think what he's selling is, you know, Trump will occasionally complain about these things, but he gets distracted, and tomorrow he'll forget about it because he's distracted. I am a dog with a bone, and I will never let it go. I will start mm -hmm. fights, and I will finish them, and I think that's what he's communicating here is, you know, I don't care who criticizes me. I will not let this go because it is the core of who I am. Now, good political strategy or not, I don't know yet, but that's the brand he's advertising. So, Joey, Governor DeSantis is uh, overseas right now. So he was in Jerusalem uh, when he commented about the Disney lawsuit, right? His time zones were off, and so he commented today. And here's some of what he said. They're upset because they're actually having to live by the same rules as everybody else. They don't want to have to pay the same taxes as everybody else. I don't think the suit has merit. I think it's political. You know, he's got this confidence because he's got that Harvard Law degree. Um, but, you know, practicing lawyers uh, have may have a different opinion. So does the lawsuit have merit? I think uh, Harvard Law graduates will tell you that it does. I will yep. tell you that people who have not graduated from Harvard uh, <laughs> will tell you also uh, it has a lot of merit. Yeah. And why do I say that? Uh, because this is clearly an attack upon speech. Uh, why do we know that? If you look at the lawsuit itself, it uses his words against him. Go woke, go broke. It speaks about how he called in, convened mm -hmm. a special session. In that special session, he was very clear with respect to what he was doing, punishing Disney for their views, for them not being apolitical, and so it crosses the line. And so I think at the end of the day, not only does he lose the lawsuit, but I think he pays attorney fees, etc. And I think there's wow. going to be, th there's no question that from a First Amendment perspective, the causal connection between what he wanted to do, punish, yep. and based upon the statements are there, and I think without question, he's in trouble. And Disney makes the points actually in their argument, it was quite poignant, they were saying they're taking a stand that smaller business businesses and individuals, I'm quoting them, might not be able to take when the state comes after them for expressing their own views. In America, the government cannot punish you for speaking your mind. So they're both saying it's free speech and that they are doing this because they're big and because they're a juggernaut and to help at, at, so, when others can't. Listen, I think that it's, it's been said, and Scott, I know you saw this, uh, that he was outdone by Mickey Mouse. Uh, I think that that is going to be really the lesson to be, to be taught here. I think from a perspective of having a lawsuit that has merit that's based on the First Amendment, you can't, if you're a corporation, you're allowed to state what your views are. You're allowed to give the indication that this what you're true. doing, governor, are wrong. And so the legislature convenes to punish you for that. Can't do it. This is America last night. The other side of that, though, is this is a more muscular brand of republicanism. And this is what a lot of Republicans want is for when Republicans have the levers of power to be unafraid to use it to go after the people that they think are harming American culture. I don't I don't know where this is headed, but this is the beginnings of more muscular republicanism oh. that may not be well, a different certainly a different different not traditional conservatism, but republicanism. I get the distinction. Yeah. So Harry, to this point, because I think what what you just hit on here, Scott, is right at the heart of what you're going to talk about. Yeah. Um, so McCarthy's not alone. No. You know, when you say you're going to put a prison next to Disney, a lot of people got upset. And that was enough for a lot of people, a lot of mainstream conservative Republicans to speak out and take a stand. And here they are. Yeah. I mean, 
it's not good for the for Governor DeSantis. I don't think it's good for the Republican Party. This does not help uh, the team, and and I just want the team to be able to win. I think he's getting it wrong on Disney. If I don't agree how Disney has handled things, but you don't use the heavy hand of government to punish a business. If Disney would like to move their hundreds of thousands of jobs to South Carolina and bring the billions of dollars with them, I'll let them know. I'll be happy to meet them in South Carolina. All right, they're all on the same page, but where are Republican voters? Uh, let me just say, I always prefer Disneyland to Disney World, but uh, <laughs> when it comes to this particular <laughs> issue on Disney, you know, uh, Ron DeSantis has pushed this fight with Disney. He's pushed, you know, the six-week abortion ban. The majority of Republican voters are with him. But only about two thirds, or 60 to 66 percent, are with him, right? There's about one third of the Republican Party who's not with him on Disney and not with him on the six week abortion ban. So this actually splits the GOP in some sense, right? Mm, so he yeah. has this majority, but there's a significant minority who disagree. But more than that, I think the question is is this really working in his Republican primary fight against Donald Trump? And what do we see in the polling? You know, Fox News has had polls out the last three months. You go back to February, yeah. what did we have? We had Trump ahead but he was only ahead by about 15 points. Now you look that lead, 30 points in March and 32 points in April. So this fights, these fights that he's are pushing, maybe they are popular with the majority of Republican voters, hmm. but in terms of the actual bread that's rising, it's not actually rising in the way he wants it. Joey, what's the timing on, on a case that's at this stage? So it, it'll take a while, but let me just say this. There's what's called injunctive relief. What does that mean in English? It means that he's looking for the courts to say that, Governor, you're wrong. The legislation was passed as a result of retaliation. We want things to go back to the status quo. Mm -hmm. I think that you'll see that that, that'll happen pretty expeditiously. And I think also they're advising that his political and perhaps his legal people to get out of this from a settlement perspective. But yeah. oftentimes, you know, Aaron, it takes months and months and months, sometimes years, right. right, for a lawsuit to see its way through. I think this will be more rapid than that. And what I wonder, right, not my lane, yours and yours, but the reality is from a political perspective, I think yeah. he's going to take a loss after loss after loss. Yeah, I mean, because it's staying there. It's not like it goes away. Point. It's not yes. like you can just quietly stop talking about it. Yeah, by the way, I don't... As you say, he doesn't want to. He's got his I don't think bone. I don't think taking up for Disney if I'm Haley or Asa. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I don't see it. All right, so <laughs>